watching The 7 from WATE 6 on your side. Good evening, I'm Bo Williams, and welcome to The 7. Let's get a look at the Big 7 stories happening right now. And up first on the Big 7 list for us brings us back to a story we brought you last week. The Knoxville Fire Department revealing the cause of a house fire in Fountain City that claimed the life of one person last Thursday. Officials say a heater caused the fire at the home along Northwest Circle Road. Investigators also say the smoke alarms in the home were not working at the time. Firefighters responded to the scene on Thursday, finding one person dead inside as well as several deceased animals. The victim's identity, we should note, has not been released at this time. Our second Big 7 story takes us now to Anderson County, and this is where one person is injured after a shooting. Officials say the shooting happened along Pine Ridge Road right around 2 a.m. This was on Sunday. Police, uh, police pulled up to find one person suffering from two gunshot wounds. Now, they were taken to a nearby medical facility and are currently receiving medical care. According to preliminary investigations, the suspect is named Christian Staudenmeyer. The sheriff's department confirms he was taken to a local hospital where he received treatment for a gunshot wound to his leg. Staudenmeyer was then transported to the Anderson County Detention Facility. The investigation is still ongoing at this time. Our next Big 7 story brings us to Sevierville, where one lady found, well, some unwelcome visitors in her home. When Deborah Osborne came to check on the house, she was surprised to find out that not only did her key no longer work, but there was a family living inside. Turns out the home was posted on Facebook Marketplace by a scammer claiming that it was for rent. The family paid the scammer nearly $3,000 and were instructed to enter through a screen door and then a window. After talking with the family and the police, Osborne realized what had happened. She and her husband, Bruce, say this family weren't the only ones to respond to the listing and lose money. It was, it was an inconvenience for us, which we have overcome, but, you know, I feel real horrible for the people that are continuing to get scammed by it. Our realtor has been very helpful in, in helping us with this, uh, actually put a sign in the window that lets people know if they're responding to uh, an advertisement for rent, that they're responding to a scam, and uh, that they should call the police or, or him. Sevierville Police Department is now looking into this incident. Our next Big 7 story for you tonight involves a close call in Hawkins County. A person is in critical condition today after they were trapped in a machine at Barrett Outdoor Living. Investigators say the incident happened yesterday morning. This was right around 11 o'clock. Fortunately, we're told the person was freed from the machinery before emergency responders arrived. That They were then treated for multiple injuries and flown to the hospital by UT LifeStar. A congressman has been hacked, and he isn't the only one. That's our next Big 7 story for you tonight. Tennessee 3rd District Congressman Chuck Fleischman says he is among several members of Congress who were victims of a recent data breach of a health insurance marketplace used by members of Congress. He says the hackers stole information like Social Security numbers, phones, addresses, emails, among others. The House of Representatives freezing and monitoring Fleischman's credit in the wake of the hacking. D.C. Health Link officials say an unspecified number of customers were impacted. Fleischman adds they don't know who hacked the accounts at this time, nearly 11,000. Of the 100,000 people using the system work in the House and Senate. The FBI says they are aware of the incident and are assisting in this investigation. Governor Lee was in Sevierville today, and that is our next Big 7 story for you. Hundreds of students gathered at the Gatlinburg Convention Center today for the 95th annual Future Farmers of America State Convention. The governor was there to speak to these future leaders. As you may know, agriculture is the leading economic driver in the volunteer state. Governor told us he believes the FFA convention is important, not just to Tennessee, but to people really all across the country. You know, one of the most uh, important things to remember is that the world is dependent upon agriculture and production. And agriculture will only be able to feed the world if young people engage in workforce development around ag and become the next producers and the next ag scientists and the next farmers. That's a part of what FFA does. Governor continued saying he hopes to continue making Tennessee a landing spot for producers in the industry. State convention, by the way, runs through Wednesday. Our last Big 7 story takes us down to Chattanooga. And police in that city are searching for a suspect in what they say was an attempted bank robbery. This all happened in downtown Chattanooga. Heavy police presence, shutting down streets for a while, but we know roads have since reopened there. Police say shots were fired in the incident and the suspect's still at large tonight. However, police stress there is no danger to the public at this time.